Happy Baloney Friday to all you baloney heads out there. This is Redneck Preacher Bill doing another episode of Cooking with Uncle, not Uncle Bill, <laughs> with Redneck Preacher Bill. Uh, it's taken me a little bit to get used to that, and that's a name that I went by for so many years. And so anyway, and I have a Facebook page with that name on it. But anyway, today on Happy Baloney Friday, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a classic, and we're going to be adding a classic twist to it. So, anyways, you guys stick with me. We're going to dive into this, and we're going to have a good time, and we're going to eat good. So stick around. We'll be right back with you. So for our recipe today, we're using some classic bologna. We've got some farmland, applewood smoked classic cut bacon. We have scarlet brand uh, pearls, it says. They're grape tomatoes. And then we've got some market side fresh baby spinach and some good old great value whipped dressing, which is the poor man's equivalent to Miracle Whip. And this is what we're going to be doing is putting a classic with a classic today for Happy Bologna Friday. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hook my Wolfgang Puck uh, multi-griddle and uh, electric skillet. This is a like a five-in-one thing. Anyway, I'm going to hook this up and get this heated up, and I'm going to cook. I'm going to fry my bacon first because when I fry my bacon, I want to be able to use the bacon grease from that and fry my bologna in it, and I think it's going to turn out super awesome so that's kind of helped putting a classic on the fried bologna sandwich we're putting fried bacon with it as where you might normally would just do a blt well today we're going to do a bblt so anyway stick around we're going to start cooking this bacon up and i'll be right back with you all right so our bacon is starting to fry up here in our skillet i've got my little spatula here plastic spatula so that i can turn my bacon over some of you may be saying well why don't you just use a fork well, with the coating, the nonstick coating that is used on this Wolfgang Puck skillet, um, using any kind of metal utensils would be uh, like an abrasive, and it would be hard on bad on the surface, on the nonstick surface, and I don't want to ruin that. So, using a plastic spatula to do that, take care of that necessity. And, uh, man, this bacon smells so good. I really think there's going to be bacon in heaven, don't y'all? I really do. Anyway, we're going to fry this bacon up a little bit more, and uh, we'll take care of the next part. So, oh my gosh, this bacon smells so good. And those of you that have watched our uh, first video on re the review for the HelloFresh, y'all keep watching that because we're going to do more meals on that, doing reviews with HelloFresh, but also I think there's um, Dinnerly and... Uh, a couple others that uh, we found out last night, we talked to some folks who are doing those also, those meal kits, said that they're able to save a lot of money as opposed to going to the grocery store, buying all the ingredients and everything, because all the ingredients come with these meal kits. And so next week, my wife told me last night that she ordered another box and uh, it will come with five meals in it. And for the five meal kits, I think she said it was less than $40 or somewhere around $40. Uh, it was less than $40, I believe it was. And if we were to go out, that's the price we're going to spend on eating out probably two times. All right, so y'all can tell that that bacon is frying up really nice right there. So right now, the fat, is rent the fat on the bacon is rendering down, making my grease, and that is what I want for when I get ready to fry up my bologna. So I like my bacon a little bit crispy, but just a little bit chewy. So uh, I don't know how you guys prefer your bacon. In fact, uh, if you would, put down in the comment section below how you prefer your bacon. If you like it crispy, if you like it chewy, that kind of thing. 
And if you don't like pork bacon, what kind of bacon do you use? If you do like pork bacon, uh, do you like it smoked? Do you like it cured? Do you, how do you like your bacon? How do you prefer it? So put that in the comment section below. We want to be able to engage with y'all. And uh, I do believe I'm going to take this bacon up right now and we'll get ready for our next process. So there's some nice crispy bacon, semi-crispy. Some of it a little more done than others, but that's how I like it, y'all. So I'm going to reduce the heat on this a little bit. And we're going to get on to our next step. And we are going to fry up some bologna in our bacon grease. All right, so I got me a couple slices of bologna in a skillet here. I'm going to take and I'm going to put me a little cut in the middle of this. This is the way my dad used to do it when I was a kid. He'd make bologna sandwiches. Basically, you put your little cut, kind of like an X, in the middle of your bologna. And you can do it on the edges too. But it helps your bologna from bubbling up in the middle and uh, not cooking even. Now I turned this down. It's right now it's probably, I think it's on like 250. I was cooking my bacon at around 350, 375. You cook it however fast you want to. But um, anyway, so I'm frying up my bologna right now in my bacon grease. And it is looking really nice. Nice. Love me some fried bologna. Now, on your bologna sandwich, how do you prefer it? Do you just like it straight out of the package? Do you like it fried? Do you like it grilled? Some people grill their bologna. Um, so, how do you like it? Do you prefer it in the package? Do you prefer to cut it off the roll? And have you ever eaten bologna from an old country store? If you have, Put it in the comment section below. Give us the name of the country store that you had bologna at. Uh, we'd like to check them out. We'd like to know more about them. Please give us a thumbs up. And it's not so that we can look back and go, oh, look, all these people like our video. The more likes that we get on our videos, the more that YouTube recognizes that and they will distribute that video to a wider audience. So please give us a thumbs up on our videos. And we would personally, for ourselves, we would love it if y'all would comment on our videos and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps us to get out there more and uh, lets us know that there's other like-minded individuals out here in the world that enjoy the same things that we do. So we're going to go ahead and kick that heat up just a little bit and get this frying up really good because I want my bologna just a little bit crispy on the outer edges and yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be good oh it's gonna be good can y'all say it's gonna be good i say it's gonna be downright scrumptious is what i say all right folks we're gonna go ahead and pull up our fried bologna mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes 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 let that drain off everybody a bit and put that on there. Again. So, some of y'all are probably looking and saying, well, Billy, that's just horrible. You cook that in that bacon grease. That's just bad for you. No, it ain't. I'll tell you what's bad for you. It's thinking everything that the people who founded our country grew up on and lived on is horrible and bad for you because you look how long they lived and look at us of our generation now. We're scared and and we become sick by everything around us anymore. Some people just get so sick they can't even breathe the air. So, but we, uh, and these renderings that I got off this fried bacon is going to go in this jar with the other renderings from the fried bacon that we had the other day. So we save our bacon grease. Yes, we do. It is a lot more healthy for you than using vegetable cooking oil and things like that, other processed cooking oil, so um, lard, other types of animal fat, duck fat, chicken fat, and these uh, are good good uh, oils, greases to, to cook in. They really are. So you can look that up. It's on Google. Let's go ahead and get on to the next step. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take our 
little grape tomatoes because I don't have any bigger tomatoes, so I'm going to improvise. I'm going to use these smaller grape tomatoes. I'm going to slice them up to go on my sandwich, and then uh, I'll get right back with you guys. So in the meantime, enjoy this uh, time lapse, I guess is what we'll call it, and uh, I'll slice up some tomatoes. So this cool little knife right here is a knife that a buddy of mine made for me. He is a knife forger, and uh, I hadn't had a chance to use it yet, and I thought, well, let's see how it does on little tomatoes. So. Come on, folks. I'm not silly. You really think I forgot? S slices of sharp cheddar cheese, or actually, this is extra sharp cheddar, which I love. So let's put this on and let's see what we got. Right there you have it. BBLT. Fried bacon, fried bologna, lettuce, extra sharp cheddar cheese, and Miracle Whip, or a <laughs> poor man's Miracle Whip. So I'm going to take these wonderful delights right here, and I'm going to enjoy Happy Bologna Friday. You all have a Happy Bologna Friday, too, and we'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.